Now go to work, bitch. Hello and welcome once again to Stone Block 2. In this episode, we're going to show you how to make the lovely sieves and hammers that I had stacked up in my little base room that, you, that I showed you in the last episode. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to quickly show you. Will you stop for me like a blooming shadow? I tell you, this guy is annoying me today. Oh dear, if this was a proper serve, I'd smite you right now. Right. What Mate, going, I have a what one we're... tap sword. You'd be gone in seconds. You're lucky on creative mode. Yeah, I am on in creative mode because I'm not building in my base. I've already built all this. Right. I inside this you. inside this room here, inside this little chest here, we've made ten auto hammers, four auto sieves, made sixty-four item conduit, sixty-four engine conduit. <laughs> be quiet. <laughs> 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 a cobblestone <laughs> generator <laughs> and a basic drawer. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'm gonna, ju I'm gonna jump in my car, come round your house, and beat you with an inch of your life. Back off. <laughs> right. Excuse me. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Trying to keep it straight. First things first. Most people, well, as you do your rewards, you'll get these cobblestone generators in here um, but what we've done is we've shown you how to make one as well they're quite simple you've got a bucket of lava a bucket of water a piece of glass and then six pieces of cobblestone so that's it's quite simple and to do a draw I mean a draw is quite basic you need to make yourself a chest and then six pieces of wood so and these will hold, I think it's 2,048 items in there of a single item before it stops filling itself up. So what we're going to do first of all, we'll take these auto sieves because this is what's going to be sieving the items that have been smashed by your um, auto hammer in there. And you're going to place these at the bottom. All four of these at the bottom here. Oh, he's got all ender money in there. So I am in creative because I'm not going to be using none of this. Once I've built this to show you how to build all this, I'll be smashing it all up because I've already built mine way, way over there. So what these will do is, as you go through, as it goes through the um, auto hammer, it will break it down. So, so if I put, oh my God, he's throwing stuff all over the place. I'm raining chicken. You're raining chi yeah, you are raining chicken. Me, oh god no! All right, let's get these then. Let's make the first one. Make the first one up. The way I want to do it is, I want this one here to be sieving my dirt. So what I've got to do is, I put my cobblestone generator there. I put my <coughs> basic drawer up there. And what this does is, this went cobblestone and spits it out the top of itself, which will store in here. Like I said, this will hold over two thousand before it stops filling. But what I want, I'm going to put some conduit in the back of that and run it down so it drops into this one. Now, this one in here, these hammers will go back and forth, back and forth, and will break the cobblestone and turn it into gravel. The gravel will then be filtered down to here, and then this fella will sieve it for me. So don't forget to put your sieve, your mesh, in here. Now, depending on what you want to make out of your gravel, will depend on whether you use um, string, flint, iron or diamond all mine are set on diamond because we've already done the the mesh and the flint and iron one so we're just on diamond all the time now but you can put in what you want so this setup will give you gravel being sieved the next one if you go one higher will now give you dirt because this fella here is going to feed this one with cobblestone these hammers will break it from cobblestone to gravel, so we're going to here, and this one will break it from gravel into dirt, and should put it in here. Oh my god! Put it in dirt, so this will save your dirt. Again, <laughs> don't forget to put your your mesh in. Just boo again. What the hell? Right, Bruh. this this one here, I want to do sand. So what I have to do is make this one higher. Will you keep your chickens in order? 
So now what will happen is you, me? you'll run cables through, you'll run your item conduit all the way up to this one. This one will be taken in the cobblestone. It'll break Stinky. it down to gravel into here. This will break it from gravel into dirt, then dirt into sand. No, did that wrong. Yeah, that goes in this cobblestone to gravel, so that'll be doing the gravel. Gravel to dirt, that'll be that one. And then dirt to sand, so you'll be sieving sand in there. Again, don't forget to put your mesh in. This one here is going to be doing the dust, so this is going to be one higher than that. So I'll start with that one up there first. There we go. So this will now, this will do our dirt. This will do our, no, this will do our gravel. This will do our dirt. This will do our sand. This will do our uh, dust. So now I know that I can do all the blocks. And all I've got to do is wire it up. And this will, will work every time I'm playing the game. This will keep building it through, knocking it down and sieving it through. And storing it in these chests here. And these chests are quite big. So it'll take a while to fill that so what we're going to do in the next step is, let me just put these away in here. I don't need none of this no more. We're now going to get into our sword. And this is where it gets a little tricky. So first of all, you're going to need to mine out behind all this. Just like this. I need to go one more up there. And there we go. That'll do for now. So, with I don't know if anyone's dealt with these before, but I'll, I'll try and explain it the best that I can. If you place these on the back here, you've got colours on these. Now, if you click this black part here, you can tell it what you want it to do. So I don't want it. I want it extracting from it, but I don't need it inserting it anywhere. But it's going to extract it on the green channel. So I don't want anything else being on the green channel apart from the top one of all of these. So if I go around to this one, for instance, and I put that one on, the, oh, that one on there, that one needs to stay green. That one needs to stay green, and that one all up there needs to stay green. And these will be inputs, because this is going to be taking the cobblestone and feeding it to the top one. So each top one needs to have the cobblestone in it to start the process off. Do not forget to switch this to always active. The same with this one here. Make sure it's on insert, on green, ex extract off, and always active the same with this one here insert always off and always active now this will start filling this and this and that one up straight away that can't be helped so what you do is you connect all these up like that and then you connect all these up like this Remembering to leave the top ones on green in only. Now this is where it gets a bit tricky. Uh, that one could basically be turned off. So let's just turn that off because we don't need that to do anything. We don't need nothing going to that because it's storing it in there and it's pulling it out from there. Which is extract. And I'm not going to put that on yet because it will start chucking stuff all over the place. Yeah. Now then, you want this one accepting, so this needs to be inserted, all right, on green, because it's pulling that out on green, so you want it going in here. But coming out of here, go to the next colour, which is brown. So it will extract it on brown. Of this one below, you want this to be inserted on brown. And extracted on. You know what? I can't remember. I think that's extracted on. If I extract that on green. Yeah, if I extract that on green. No, no, I don't want it extracted on green. So I want that. Going, green's going in, brown's coming out. 
brown's going in and we're going to have this is going to come out to I'm going to put that on black just because I can there we go, I'm going to put that on black because none of these channels are on black then if we come down to this one here because we've got that on brown we don't want any anyone anything else on a brown or green channel so when you get to this one here this one's going to be inserting on green because it's that's where the cobblestone goes just like this one this one needs cobblestone to go in it this one needs cobblestone to go in it but the outward channel will set that to blue and extract it so you want what's in here to go into this one here so the way you do that is if that's coming out of there on blue so Cobblestone has gone in on green. It's broke it down to gravel. You want the gravel coming out, so the gravel is coming out in the blue channel. So this has got to be insert on blue. And if you go to the next colour, purple. And then into this one here, you want this one going in as purple and coming out on the next colour from that. So there's purple, so we're now on cyan always active always active keep forgetting to turn these to active all the time is that one on active already always active yeah and that one's always active in fact that one doesn't need to be extracted that can be turned off that's it so that goes in because once this goes in here we don't need it to come out anywhere because it's going to be stored in here so this one's on out on blue shouldn't be out on blue this is going to be out on nothing because this is going to go into there so that color there is purple magenta whatever the color it was I said just make sure that's still on green insert yep that's lovely so we want that extracted on cyan that one's working on purple because we don't want that coming out on purple in on purple so the next color is oh what have I done this one here so we extract on cyan always active and then you want cyan to go in here cyan purple cyan Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Have you messed up? Oh, I've missed one. I've missed the colour. Purple. Oh, cyan was the next one. So after cyan, if we get this to cyan, is light grey. So we want it extracted on light grey. So this one needs to be inserted on light grey. And extracted on the next colour from that, which will be grey. Always active. This one needs to be inserted on grey and extracted on the next colour from grey, which is pink. Bingo's favourite colour. Is it? <laughs> Apparently so. No, we don't need oh. to have that extracted on pink. It doesn't need to extract on pink, does it? Because that goes in to this chest here. This is what confuses me every single time. I knew I'd get confused in this. Now I've got a rich order up there. Ugh. So this needs to be on pink. Extract yeah. always, because this one's not on pink, this one's on grey going in there. And then from there, when it's sieved, it will go into that chest there. So we don't need it coming out of there yet. So that top one's going to be green going in, because green is the cobblestone going in from all the way over there. So the cobblestone will run around all of these, but will only go in where the green is. So we've got that set up on green. And we've got it coming out on pink. So this one has got to go in on pink. And then it's got to come out again on the next colour after pink. Which will be a lime. So this one has to go in on lime. And I've just gone past it. And on. And this one's got to go out on what colour is after lime? Yellow. So this one has got to go in on yellow. Don't kill that ghast, will you? 
is a gas. Yeah, I can hear it in the, in the uh, thing and goes in on light, uh, comes out on light blue. So this one will go in on light blue. And doesn't need to come out, always active. Never active, always active. Always active, right. So that is how you wire these up. Now what you've got to do now is connect all these together just by doing that. Come so that. just to quickly recap, this is sending everything on the green channel. So all these lower ones down here are not on green. So this you is saw sending, nothing. This is sending out on the green channel, and the green channel supplies this one, that one, that one, and that one because that is where your cobblestone needs to go to start the process. Then each one from here on in is then set from color to color, color to color. So if it's coming out on that color, it's got to go in on that top color. It's coming out on dark gray and going in on dark gray. You don't need to take it out of this. It will store it in these chests. Now the good thing about Ender IO, that is all set up, trust me, just do what I've done, it'll all work. The reason why I like Ender IO so much is that you don't need to put take two great big lines across here because this stuff will connect to all of this. So for instance, if your power supply was here, you put that there to connect to it. You'd run around here and all you've got to do now is click this and you're in the same block you're not using another block beside it so that is now supplying power for all of this as well as taking the items in and out of each of it and as long as you connect all of them on top of this like that and to there so there, I think you can have up to four or five like this. Yeah, four. No, five because you can have one that runs through the middle of it as well. So you've got four around the outside and one through the middle. So it's a very, 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 very good thing. Before, we used to have to have, you'd have an electrical pipe running around the back of here and then try and keep the electrical pipe and the item pipe away from each other, but trying to make it look nice as well. Whereas well, now, with Ender IO, you can do that. I love Ender IO. I think Ender IO is smashing, super smashing great, as they say. I think it's the best. But then again, I would advise because I like Quarry. The Ender IO Quarry. But they don't have it on this, this um, game. I took it off. Probably because you could just mind your heart's content everywhere. And not have to worry about nothing. Right, so. All this is now wired up and plumbed in. If I was to, see what I will do, I will put a creative power cell down here just to show you how it works. Uh, which one should we have? Infinity battery? No, where's the one I normally use? Nice turbine. Where's the one I normally have? Creative energy cube. Storage energy infinite. Well, we'll give you a go then. I've not used you before. Oh, you are working. So now, all this should be getting power. Yep, all the power slowly going up. Oh, I know where this isn't going to work. I'm going to mesh in here yet. Oh, well, <laughs> we'll, let, we'll let it start doing it. Did I get to that top part? There you go. Did I get all the way up there? Yeah, I did. Right, and you know why none of this is working? Do you know why none of this is working? Because at the very, very beginning, I said I'm not going to turn this on because I do not want this running everywhere. If I turn this on now, it will start firing the cobblestone to these. And there we go. There's matey boy there, breaking away. Now, inside these, you can put an extra two hammers down if you want to make it smash it quicker. But to be honest, there's not real, no real need for it. You're going to have to keep coming in and keep changing them all the time. So I'd like it as it is. If I get myself some mesh, just so you can see this bad boy working, I'll get 16 of them and I'll put one in, one in each. 
and then you get to see what they do so this guy's sieving it for you that guy's that that device there is breaking it turning it into gravel and this guy's sieving it for you and he's putting all your stuff in here for you and each of these will do the same this one is going to be doing your dirt this one here is going to be doing your sand I don't know if that power, power source there is uh, strong enough and this one here is going to be doing your dust so this one's got a longer way to come down it's working very slowly I think what it does is it fills this with 64 then it fills that with 64 then it fills that with 64 then it fills that with 64 which is why these I've only just started to get down here and he's still waiting bless him look at him he looks bored stiff in there he looks like the coronavirus has hit big time look at him he's sat there bored I've been here six months waiting for something to come down bless him he's so, just yeah. put up a slap in that so, keyboard <laughs> yeah so hopefully that does will that will work its way around through all of these to this it's just that it always feeds the first one first then the second then the third then the fourth and he's going to take a long time before he breaks that then to there breaks that then to there breaks that then to there breaks that. these don't have any hammers in it so it's not going to be breaking no you don't need hammers because if you you can put extra hammers in here if you want to speed the process up on mine in there I did at first but then it just meant that every couple of hours I had to keep running back and fixing them all so now they've all been running without those other two hammers in it so it just works with those two in there all that happens is when you put two hammers in it just puts two more hammers facing the other way I think this this power in here is um, is probably not as strong as I thought it was because these seem to be moving very very slowly I mean they are all full it's taking it's taking an age to break that one what's up with you my man well you broke 20 so why aren't they coming down to here then have I messed something up here have I forgot maybe to... you have uh, let's have a look now that's pink too pink did I forget to no that's always active oh So pink is in, lime is out. Ah, that's been changed to redstone, that's why. That was my fault. I've clicked that one too many times. That's why it's not been sending it down. So if you ever if you ever notice that something's not working, there you go, it's firing them down now. If you ever notice that they're not coming down here, it could just be a simple thing like that. I've clicked that that one too many is put it down on redstone so it's going to activate through redstone which it won't because none of these are on redstone so it'll be like a switch I suppose so this bad boy will start smashing themselves this one's been working hard look, look all those lovely ores they've got in the next video I'll show you where all these ores will be stacked and clubbed together as one makes life so much easier in fact whilst we're waiting for that one to come down let me go and show you Oh, I was lagging a bit then. <laughs> what the hell was going on? Yeah, same. I thought it was just me. Right. This is my setup here. See, all mine is all the way down there. This is all mine. It's all set up. It's all completed. All working away. I've got these chests at the front, but what they do is they store the overspill. Those are some of those chests down there can take 2,000 each. I've upgraded most of them, but some of them they're just like this. I'm getting so much glowstone that this is my overspill. So if anything's in here, if I check these, and there's anything left in here, then I know I need to upgrade that chest. So lapis lazuli and um, glowstone we need upgrading. But all this is set up just the same as what I showed you. But I've got. Um, Ender IO um, item conduit running from these four at the front here runs deep down underneath all of this and runs into this person here. So you've got 2048 lapis lazuli I've got. This is what it does. The good thing about this is not only does this have 410 ores it starts making it up as though it's on a crafting table 
So I've got one stack of 64 and 38. The same in here. I've got five stacks it's made for me in there. I've got one stack in there, four stacks in there, three stacks in there, seven stacks in there, three in there. It's already made them up for me. This one's normally gets the heaviest. I have over 20 stacks in there. And then what I do is I take them out of there and I run around the corner here. And I place them in here where they go through the pulverizers. But when they finish in here, they get sent right back to that sorter and then get sent down and sorted all into here. So for instance, if I go on to where's my where's my thing gone? Where's my tablet? There it is, there's my tablet. So if I go into my tablet, I click away over here. I go through here. There should be a upgrade in here. Where is it? Where's my upgrade gone? There it is. There. Put this down here. These are the ones I make properly in game, not. Which was it? It was a lapis lazuli, wasn't it? So if I click on the lapis lazuli. Come on, lapis, let me in. Why don't you let me in? Is it because I'm in creative? Now mm. oh, there we go. So if I take this, I've already got one of those in there, which increased storage by 32 times. Now it's got another 32 in there. And so these normally hold 2000 and 2048. So this will increase it a little bit more. But yeah, so this is what I've done. Got all this set up in here. It's brilliant. Everything runs to this bad boy here. And then from here, it sorts it in all of this. And you can have this set up any way you want. You could pull your blueberries and put them down here. I'll explain all that in the next video. Anyway, we'll go back to over here to see if um, if matey's finally you know got his old arm swinging on with the old uh, get the old sieve going. Make sure he's doing his job properly. So what's he been doing? Let's have a look. Right, well we're getting bone meal, redstone, glowstone. We're getting some gold ore, some sky stone, crystal, crushed black quartz. Yeah, that's nice. Those. They're black quartz is it's a nice block nice shiny block so getting plenty of oils through that and then through this one getting quite a lot of oils this stuff here this is what you use for doing your uh, mousseleum grass just to place that down on top of a um, piece of dirt and turn it to mousseleum and that's how you make your witch water well through this one here what's, what's going in there dirt so when you sift dirt through diamonds it looks like you get ore berries now these ore berries are gold tin and iron i know another way of getting even more ores just by having machines do it for me and i shall show you how to do that in another video so i hope you enjoy what i've showed you right now it's um it was a bit funny you always forget to do one connection but as you can see we're cracking on this is going to be great what i'll do is i'll leave that lot there i'll build a sorting system beside it here so you can see that all of it working together and then i'll smash it all down and then replace this wall ready for another build well thank you very much for watching i hope you've been appreciated the uh, the time and the effort i put in trying to do this and the fact that i have bingo here always reminds me when i mess things up so thank you so like and subscribe and I will see you in the next uh, next episode. Thank you very much. Have fun and goodbye. And that's your cute say bye, bingo. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye, everyone. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.